Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm super excited to bring you guys a brand new asset review episode and in this video guys we are going to focus on the time of day asset pack. And guys before we begin with the intro I just want to quickly say thank you so much for 3 million views in total, it's insane, you guys are insane and I'm loving it. And also guys join the discord server for giveaways that we're going to host on the server and this channel in general, I am going to make a video on the giveaway that are coming this weekend um, but for that you know to make sure that you can actually join up make sure to join the discord server to get started with and with that being said guys let's get right into the video Alrighty guys, so as I said earlier, we are going to talk about the asset called Time of Day. And it's basically an asset developed by Mod Monkeys, and it's located under Scripting Effects. And it's simply a Time of Day asset, which is suggested by the name. <laughs> it is also used to render realistic dynamic sky domes with day and night cycles. This asset pack comes with a price tag of $60, and it includes physically based sky shading, full PBR and HDR support, physically based clouds, dynamic day and night cycle, and and many more features. And honestly, for my part, I really did realize the fact that you can use these assets for literally any kind of game you're creating, or any level design for that matter. I never had issues with using it for cartoon or high poly levels or games, and you can realize that if you watch my level designing videos. And I'm not trying to be biased about this, but it's true, like I'm just trying to give you guys some truth about this. And before getting into the pros and cons about this asset, I quickly want to go through the developer response, which is pretty much how fast the developer is responding to reviews, and how regular the asset updates are so basically how good the support for the asset is so from my from my perspective the dev does not respond to reviews on the asset store page but has incredible support on the discussion forum from what i have seen because he really replies to literally everyone and for the release date the asset was initially released in march 2013 and the current version of the asset is 3.2.0 and it was released in april this year now that we had the developer response out of the way guys we want to focus a little bit more onto the pros and cons so First and foremost, for the pros, it's very easy to set up with one single prefab to literally drag and drop into your scene. And in that prefab, you have literally all the settings you want to optimize your sky dome with, you know, edit the colors, etc. On top of that, it's very, very extremely customizable to suit your needs and suit your game you're creating. Like I said, I was using this for cartoon games too, and I never really had any issues because of that fact. Speaking of customizability, it also has support for all platforms and game types from what I've seen game types but legit it has support for all platforms so if you if you're creating mobile games you can still use this asset it's perfectly fine and you also have high quality for the price especially since it's very widely usable for any kind of game you're creating and it also has great settings for optimizing even though it's not needed because you really do get a good amount of optimization with the asset with the initial release but if you want to optimize it further for your mobile game or whatever it might be you know you have the settings out there in that prefab you actually drag and drop into your scene and for the cons part guys i'm gonna be a little bit of a nitpicker again <laughs> that's like a ak name that i kind of set my for myself but anyway basically the con is simply the fact that the asset has not been updated for a little while once again it works perfectly fine with the latest version of unity i've never you know stood upon any problems with it um with with the features or with the the sky dome itself the clouds whatever all of them are working perfectly fine with Unity, the latest version from what I've seen. And I didn't really... I checked the discussion forum and the reviews and I didn't really see any people that are, you know, experiencing any issues. So I don't really feel like there is a need for an update. But at the same time, I want to be nitpicky because this is a review. And I want to give you guys my honest opinions on them because otherwise why am I making these videos, right? So the asset has not been updated for a little while, but it doesn't really matter that much, honestly. Alrighty guys, so now we're in Unity once again and we're going to check out what actually follows in this asset when you purchase it. So first and foremost, we had a mother root folder like I like to call them. And um, right below it, we have the assets folder to go straight into it. And um, we actually don't have too much to play around with here in, in like unless you actually want to edit something in the asset. But you pretty much have the editor scripts, the materials, the meshes, scripts, shaders, and also the textures. Once again, 
if you want to edit the source files for this asset, you might want to use this one. But then we have the documentation, which is pretty much my favorite folder in this asset because the documentation is actually very, very good. Um, I suggest you guys check it out if you're actually new to this asset. So next up, we have the examples folder, which was pretty much what I thought was like an example scene, but apparently not. So it's pretty much like a... Uh, example scripts you can actually use for for the asset itself which is pretty cool because it's, they are created by the developer himself and um, it's pretty cool that he actually included his own scripts for example on how to use the asset so that's pretty cool and next up but not last but not least actually we have the prefabs folder and this is legit my favorite folder because this is the one and only uh, what do you say like a prefab that you actually drag and drop into your scene in order to make this beautiful uh, Sky Dome itself, so you don't really have to like play around with many different objects add and drag and drop and all that You know you just literally drag and drop this object into your scene and it's pretty much done It looks a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit weird in my scene because of the fact that I have some weird post-processing effects for my for my level design that I created here PS link in the description if you want to watch it <laughs> but basically um, when you actually place it into a normal scene obviously you're getting quite a good quality so it's working just fine it's like a day time of day like pretty much alrighty guys so that was what actually comes in the asset when you purchase it and now to the conclusion of this video I'm also going to talk a little bit about who would I recommend this to in case you're planning on to purchasing it so that you actually make the right purchase so first and foremost to conclude this to anyone making a game where they want to use a real dynamic sky dome instead of a skybox you can use this asset it's going to be perfectly fine and I have used this asset personally for almost every single one of my level designs except for like a few and by few I mean like three four even if that and it's just incredible like I'm really really in love with this asset and I'm making this video genuinely but at the same time I want to keep myself as unbiased as possible so that I don't you know affect you guys in with my words because I don't want to influence you into purchasing it it's just an honest review on how the asset is acting when you actually import it into unity and personally I've used many different assets you guys know me I have many assets <laughs> that's what I do I just have many assets and I have used a lot of time of day assets you know free ones paid ones expensive ones cheap ones literally all of them and I didn't really find anything that was suiting me personally better than this one because it's so simple to work with time of day I felt like the it met all the needs that I really do want from a time of day asset and it's just as simple as you know import and use it right away and with that being said guys I want to thank you so much for watching this video and once again thank you so much for 3 million views in total guys we're also almost hitting 30,000 subscribers which is insane I actually wonder if we can hit it in uh, in 15 days 17 days something like that until New Year's I'm actually looking forward to seeing how that challenge unfolds and once again guys join the discord server by clicking the link in the description down below and also in the comments it's very important for you to become a part of the family if you aren't already we are going to run some giveaways and once again I'm gonna upload the video sooner or later where I actually announce a giveaway but to make sure that you don't miss it out first and foremost subscribe to the channel and also join the discord server because it's very important for you to become a part of it once again because we're actually hosting the giveaway right there hey guys don't forget to let me know what you think of this asset in the comments down below by leaving a comment simply and if you want to suggest me what kind of asset you would like me to review let me know in the comments once again i really do appreciate your guys' suggestions and you know that i make time for you guys so just leave them in the comments list them down below or in the discord server for that matter and i will make the videos and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching once again i hope you all enjoyed and i will catch you in the discord server and the comments down below see you guys bye bye caught me by surprise was it a rise was it a lip i can't seem to think what it is i'm falling like at the edge of the cliff they say there's plenty of fish in the sea plenty of fish in the sea but this girl got me speaking french uh who said my defeat i thought i was a late night lover yeah but i still loved her after midnight uh, and i don't want to blow my cover yeah but I